calling myself an artist is very strange. I'm not, you know, I've got a six-year-old daughter and really just started drawing with her. I was actually sharing with a, a friend that I've known for four or five years. Um, we, we have both been in Google Plus since it launched and I was just showing her what I was doing with my daughter, you know, just for a bit of fun. She said, oh, this is really good, show a few people and I, you know, one or two people enjoyed it so I shared a few more and it, the, the, the response from the Google Plus community has just been incredible. People just sending, you know, really positive messages about, I really like this and that's, that's really how it started. You, you reach a certain point and you see the interest and, and more importantly, you see people that, you know, truly reach out and say, we're enjoying this and we'd love to see more. And you have to make that decision there. You, you can never do these things half-heartedly. If you, you know, you, you do a couple of drawings a week and then nothing for a month, you know, you've got this opportunity with people that are truly engaging you and truly want to see work. It's a decision you have to make quite quickly in your life. I have, through this, met other fantastic artists that I follow, and I think once you start to get, you know, any kind of name for yourself, the most marvellous thing about that is other artists have a little bit of time for you, and, you know, like-minded people get to talk, and I've got a fortunate um, position where what I do for a living is shift work, so I've got a lot of strange hours that I can be around and, and meet people in Europe and America and whatnot in Hangouts, um, and I think a big thing is be comfortable with getting into hangouts with anyone, meet people and engage. Look at the huge celebrities on um, on places like Google Plus. If you look at people like Felicia Day and uh, Will Wheaton, and every now and then you feel like you've got something really interesting you'd like to to offer them when they post something, and the odds of them reading it, I mean, it, it, it's absurdly small. Um, but the thing. When, when you're really starting out like this is I, I can name off the top of my head the 50 people, first 50 people that constantly engage and say hi every day and I'm talking back to them all the time. I really started to think about all these wonderful people that were always saying hi, how are you doing? And they, and they really want to stay in touch with you. And um, just, you know, off the cuff I thought of, you know, how, what's a good way to, to talk about who you are? And um, really, really off the fly, I thought, you know, obviously images are what people love to see images in their stream. And I thought, well, how about I just take a photo of of um, three random things around the house, you know, just, you know, perhaps just a tin. That's one example, just like a little tin and two other things. So I, I took this photograph and um, told a little story about each object and maybe what it meant to my life and, you know, where it came from and um, just put up this tag, three things. And I was just amazed at how that took off. You know, everyone's, you know, and I said, you know, post up three things of yourself and tell me about it. And um, it, it's taken off in a big way that people are always tagging three things for Ashlyn Nathans. And what a great way to, to hear about people and little parts of their life that they're happy to share. And that was just one way I found to engage people when I wasn't putting out a, you know, a, a scribble that particular day. I wonder if building this community around scribble graph has made you think about your drawing in a more self-conscious way or if you've been able to keep it fairly pure i think it makes you think about what you choose to say and how you choose to say it a bit more i mean i've always been a fairly private person online i don't i don't ever get on a social media site and have a rant if i want to do that i'll email someone in the family or something so it's not like i had a lot to, to rethink about how i use it but i did think about if you look at uh, things like Twitter and um, th things where instant fame is very, very real, fame happens within 10 seconds and things get shared globally more quickly than you can blink. If you want to maintain that interest in what you do, you have to think about how you use your media when you're not doing something that you can produce on the spot. And at the end of the day, you just have enough people say, but you know, I really enjoy it. And you go, well, then that's enough. That's enough for me. It's enough that someone out there enjoys it. And that's fantastic.